Continental's fourth quarter profit beat analyst estimates as demand increased. Rising sales in China, recovery in America helping offset rising rubber prices. Continental sales rose by some 20 percent as you can see there. So just want to quickly check on Continental's share price right now. As you can see, well, despite those results, stock is declining. Perhaps on disappointment that there'll be no dividend. Continental also reports no progress on a combination with its shareholder, its main shareholder, I should say, Scheifler, a tie-up mooted in December. So just want to get more on those earnings now straight from the boss himself, the man himself, Continental's chief executive officer, Elmar Degenhardt, joins me live now from Frankfurt. So I guess investors are pretty disappointed uh, with the fact that they don't get a dividend. The stock down by as much as 1.7 percent right now. I believe that we have uh, achieved a very good result in 2010. Uh, we grew by nearly 30 percent, coming from 20 billion to 26 billion. This is quite an achievement, and we did this by uh, improving our performance. The adjusted EBIT figure is now at 9.7 percent. So, compared to our competition, we believe this is a very good result. Uh, we have uh, very good projections. We believe that we can grow by another 10 percent this year. Well, let me ask you and about that because so, you, you've the market. been, I mean, you've been reaping the benefits of growth in emerging economies like China and Brazil. Uh, you've even uh, enjoyed the, the benefits of a rebound in the U.S. market as well. Do you expect this to continue in the coming year? We believe that the. Uh, market in North America will further grow this year to about 13 million light vehicle. That gives us about another million more than last year. And uh, coming from Geneva, having spent time in North America and Asia in the last couple of weeks, uh, we believe that the North American market can grow into the direction of 14, 15 million light vehicles again. And uh, Asia will grow. I mean, this is the biggest auto market in the world already. We achieved a growth rate of 50 percent in Asia, which brought us to more than uh, 4 billion euro sales last year. So how, going forward, how will North American Europe compare with Asia, with the Asian market? We expected at the beginning of, year, of the year that Europe will stay flat, but uh, again, Coming from Geneva, you can sense optimism in the industry, and might be maybe this assumption of a flat development is too mm. conservative. But it's too early to uh, to make a statement here. Uh, North America again, uh, we are projecting a growth rate of in between four and five percent over 2010. Are you still cautious about the second half of this year? I mean, Europe is your biggest market, I understand, because of risks stemming from the European sovereign debt crisis? Uh, that's part of the picture, but if we see the latest development in Northern Africa, uh, developments and changes are happen happening f f uh, faster than ever in the world. So uh, we can have a good feeling what will happen in the next three, four, five months. Uh, but we are somehow cautious what will happen throughout the end of the year. And you mentioned the, the unrest in North Africa and the Middle East. Um, and of course, we've seen commodity prices surging, oil, steel prices. How is that affecting your operations? Uh, oil prices has an impact to our operations, but we are uh, much more concerned if it comes down to natural rubber prices. Uh, they're more, more or less exploded in the last uh, one and a half, two years. Uh, we are at uh, rates of uh, five and a half dollars per kilogram natural rubber currently. Yeah. And uh, if the price would stay at this level, that would uh, give us a cross penalty, a cross burden, which we have to deal with this year of some 700 million euro, which is quite a lot. So you're worried about what could happen should rubber and other commodity prices rise? We are prepared to handle the 700 million. That's why we made the statement that we believe that we can stay at the same margin level than 2010, despite these higher burdens. Uh, but we need to increase prices in the market as well as we have to 
increase efficiencies in our own production. Yeah, you know, it's good to get your thoughts on a range of things. Elmar Degenhardt, Chairman, CEO of Continental, that is, of course, Europe's second largest tire maker. Thank you. Now